In this video, I'll show you how to play Black Betty as covered by Spider Bait. Um, and this lesson was sponsored by Carrie and AJ. Um, if, you, if there's a song that you want to learn and you want to sponsor a lesson, you can reach out to me at the email on my YouTube page or just leave a, a message in the comments and I'll get back to you. And here we go. All right, so the song starts out with this banjo part. <laughs> And it plays that over and over again until it gets to kind of this like little bridge part, which I'll show you in a second. Um, so basically what I like to do for playing this song is I will play with the slide on my, on my ring finger and then I'll pick the notes with my middle finger. A lot of people like to play slide on your pinky finger, which is good when you're playing chords because that way it gives you the mobility to do the slide while also playing like a power chord. Um, but for the purposes of this song, I'm going to play on my ring finger. I just have a little bit more control and it's a little, um, it's kind of quick and you don't need to be doing like a drastic slide movement, so I, so I find it a little bit easier to do it this way. So it starts off like this. So you're gonna play with at the third fret of the A string with your middle finger, then open on the D string, then you're gonna do the slide part at the fourth fret, like hovering basically over the fourth fret as close as you can get, and it's just a little down slide and then it's kind of a pull off, so. And then you're gonna do um, some alternate picking at the end with the, on an open D string. So then after you've played the first banjo part several times, you're gonna play this kind of bridge part, which goes like this. And so you're gonna start at the third fret of the uh, D string, and you're gonna slide up the, to the fifth fret. Then you're gonna play at the fifth fret. Then you're gonna slide down. So it's. Then you're gonna slide back up. Then play at the fifth fret. Then you're gonna do kind of like a pull off to open. So that whole banjo part all the way through goes. And then the rhythm guitars are all played in drop D tuning. And so basically drop D is the same as standard tuning. It just means you're going to tune your low E string. Instead of it being a low E, you're going to tune it down one full step to D. And what that allows you to do is it allows you to bridge your finger over the bottom three strings and play a three note power chord. It also gives it a lot heavier sound. All right, so the song starts out with this power chord riff that goes like this. And then the fourth time, it just kind of lets it hang. So basically, the first two chords are going to be these bridge um, power chords with the drop D tuning. Then you're going to repeat that to like regular power chord form. So slowly. And then after that last time, you let it hang. And then you hit uh, that power chord at the 12th fret. And then as the verse goes on, you're gonna just basically repeat playing at that 12th fret. And there's a bit of a slide off. And after we go through the verse, we're gonna go back into that intro part again. And then it goes to this kind of pre-chorus part that's based, it's very similar to the intro riff, and it goes like this. And so it's a little tricky. Um, I'll break it down slowly for you. And basically the tricky part is going from this power chord here to this port chord. So. And so after that slide down. And 
And then after the last time through that pre-chorus, there's gonna be some held notes that go like this. So basically it's just. And then you hit that sharp chord at the 12th fret. Then after the second verse, there's gonna be this cool little guitar fill. And it goes like this. So basically you're gonna start off with your ring finger at the 12th fret and do a bend. Then you're gonna do a bend up and down and pull off to the 10th fret. And then down to the 12th fret of the D string. So. And then continuing. So. Then back up to the 12th fret with another bend and bend and release. So. And then continuing on with this breakdown part, we're gonna play this uh, next part that is very similar to the pre-chorus. And it goes like this. So slowly it's. So it's very similar to that other part, but you're gonna start off like this. Then you're gonna do that kind of slide down. And then you're gonna do that kind of back and forth. And then there's this kind of like single chord like breakdown part. And it basically goes like this. So you're basically just playing that power chord with your index finger bridge or middle finger or ring finger basically bridge across the 12th fret of the low three strings. And then you play an open note and a bend at the third fret. Now it sounds like there's also a second guitar that's just playing that single chord all the way through. So one guitar is going. And then the other guitar is going. Next we're gonna to come to this build up part. And the part basically goes like this. So you're gonna play with your index finger at the 10th fret. And then at the end, there's gonna be a hammer on from the 10th to the 12th fret of the low E string. And then you're gonna be playing open notes in between. So it's. And so that's it slowly and then full speed it sounds like. And so that last part is just uh, at the third fret to the fifth fret back to the third fret with your index finger, ring finger, and back to your index finger. And so the little, a little bit of nuance, so when the build up starts you're going to have the wah wah pedal on and it's pretty low in the mix. But what you're going to do is you're going to start with the wah-wah pedal completely open and you're going to kind of gradually press down as the buildup goes on. So it basically sounds like this. Then the wah-wah pedal goes off and it goes back to... Then towards the end of this build up part, as the rhythm guitar continues on that part we just played, there's gonna be this lead played by the uh, lead guitar. And it goes like this, with a wah-wah pedal. <laughs> so 
So breaking it down, there's basically you're gonna play with your ring finger at the 12th fret of the D string, and there's like a little bit of a slide out, so it goes so. And you can kind of press down a little bit on the Wawa pedal while you do that. And then there's this part where you bridge your ring finger on the G and B strings at the 12th fret, and then your index finger on the 10th fret of the G and B strings. And then you're gonna also hit the Wawa pedal down on each of those notes, so it goes. And then continuing on, you're gonna do the same thing that, except you're gonna hit the, the 12th fret a few times before you do the slide, so. So the first part goes. So you're basically going. And you can hit the wah-wah pedal down when you do each note, or you can kind of just leave it in one position. It sounds like it's done both ways. And then the last part, you're going to do that, that build up again. And then to play this progression. And you're gonna kind of move the wah-wah pedal back and forth um, down on kind of the emphasis note, so. So when I hit that bend, I'm going down on the wah-wah pedal and then back up. And then back and forth on each of those last notes. Then it continues on again with the same part we just played. And then there's gonna be this bend at the end. And you're gonna bend with your index finger at the 10th fret of the B string, and your ring finger at the 12th fret of the G string, and hit the wah-wah pedal on each note. And you're gonna actually push on each note. Then for the outro, we're gonna play that pre-chorus part again, um, but this time the drums are gonna play like double time, so it goes. And it's gonna basically kind of build up with the drums playing double time. And then you're gonna end on that 12th fret um, power chord. Basically do like some tremolo picking. And then play that power chord here. And end on the 12th fret. And then over the top, the lead guitar is gonna play this fill with the wah wah pedal. And it goes like this. So basically, you're gonna play at the 12th fret of the D string with the wah wah pedal. And then you're gonna bridge your finger at the G and B strings on the 12th fret to the 10th fret. And there's kind of a little bit of muting in between. And some vibrato at the 10th fret. So. And then continuing on, you're going to do this kind of uh, bend up and pull off to the 10th fret. So. And you can, that, that last note of the 12th fret of the D string, you can either play it or you can just kind of finger it with the wah wah pedal. Um, sounds cool either way. And then at the very end, you're just gonna hold that 12th fret of the D string and do vibrato. And then as the rest of the band is kind of just playing tremolo picking at the 12th fret, you can switch off the wah-wah pedal and just kind of do tremolo picking at the 12th fret of the D string. And it sounds like there's multiple car guitars doing multiple things, like some are going down the neck to the open E, or actually D because it's a low uh, drop D tuning. Um, and then that the lead guitar kind of does this. So uh, that's just basically the 10th fret of the G string and the B string, and you're just gonna bend both. And then all the guitars end. 
So that's it for this lesson. I hope you liked it. If you find this uh, content useful, I post new videos each week. And if you subscribe, you'll get notification when new videos go up. And I will see you guys next time.